Meanwhile, there was a uh, an outstanding speech given to the Federalist Society today. You may recall the Federalist Society. According to the Democrats, it is a right-wing organization. See, anything or anyone that believes in the original intent of the Constitution is a right-winger, according to the left-wing kooks. But the Federalist Society is a very good organization that promotes the original intent and textualism in interpreting the Constitution, which apparently is very, very provocative. But John Bolton was there today, and he he gave an outstanding speech, and we're just going to touch on a few points that he raised. The ICC is the International Criminal Court, I think they call it. Uh, We have never been a member of that court. That would mean that we confer our sovereignty on this international court that would adjudicate issues with, with respect to our soldiers and sailors and airmen and marines and coast guard, our politicians. The judges come from different countries all over the world. Now, I can assure you if Hillary Clinton had gotten elected president that we'd be members now of the ICC. This is why these elections are so crucial, ladies and gentlemen. But this president has not only said no, he has said hell no. And through John Bolton, his outstanding national security advisor, he also had this to say today. Cut 17, go. Today, on the eve of September the 11th, I want to deliver a clear and unambiguous message on behalf of the President of the United States. The United States will use any means necessary to protect our citizens and those of our allies from unjust prosecution by this illegitimate court. We will not cooperate with the ICC. We will provide no assistance to the ICC. And we certainly will not join the ICC. We will let the ICC die on its own. After all, for all intents and purposes, the ICC is already dead to us. Boy, that's good stuff. By the way, the uh, the scream in the background was Code Pink, of course. The Hate America organization. There's so many of them, it's hard to keep track of them anymore. Now, um, why? Why would we have nothing to do with the ICC? Cut 18, go. First, the International Criminal Court unacceptably threatens American sovereignty and U.S. national security interests. The prosecutor, in, the prosecutor in The Hague claims essentially unfettered discretion to investigate, charge, and prosecute individuals, regardless of whether their countries have acceded to the Rome Statute. The court in no way derives these powers from any grant of consent by non-parties to the statute. Instead, the ICC is an unprecedented effort to vest power in a supranational body without the consent of either nation states or the individuals over which it purports to exert jurisdiction. It certainly has no consent whatever from the United States. As Americans, we fully understand that consent to the government is a prerequisite to true legitimacy and we reject such a flagrant violation of our national sovereignty. Amen. Amen. I mean, seriously, look at the smart things, the solid things this administration does. Look at their policies. Now, you may have disagreements here and there, but by and large, look at this. The alternative is Hillary. It's not a binary choice. Well, I don't know. People who say that, I don't know where the hell they're voting or what the hell they're thinking. It looks pretty binary to me. Now, what about the Palestinian Liberation Organization Office, the PLO? Remember when the PLO was considered a terrorist organization? Cut 19, go. Israel, too, has sharply criticized the ICC. While the court welcomes the membership of the so-called State of Palestine, it has threatened Israel a liberal, democratic nation with investigation into its actions in the West Bank and Gaza to defend its citizens from terrorist attacks. There has also been a suggestion that the ICC will investigate Israeli construction of housing projects on the West Bank. 
The United States will always stand with our friend and ally Israel. <clears throat> and today, reflecting congressional concern with Palestinian attempts to prompt an ICC investigation of Israel, the Department of State will announce the closure of the Palestine Liberation Organization office here in Washington, D.C. As President Reagan recognized in this context, the executive has the right to decide the kind of foreign relations, if any, the United States will maintain. And the Trump administration will not keep the office open when the Palestinians refuse to take steps to start direct and meaningful negotiations with Israel. The United States supports a direct and robust peace process, and we will not allow the ICC or any other organization to constrain Israel's right to self-defense. Now, these are two very, very important and historic actions by this administration. Is it getting much coverage? Are you seeing much coverage of this other than passing coverage, Mr. Producer? I'm not. Nope. It doesn't, you see, it doesn't fill the theme of the day, which is today's theme, Trump is a nut. Tomorrow's theme, Trump is a racist. The theme after that, the next day is uh, uh, Trump is this, uh, a criminal, an unindicted co-conspirator. And then the next day, we have a different theme. We can't allow reality. We can't allow the real world. We can't allow the facts to interfere with our media theme because we're the free press and this is the golden age of journalism, as the great late Jake Tapper once said. Now, I have a question for Jake Tapper. May I? I have a question for Chuck Todd. I have a question for George Stephanopoulos, the three stooges of media, all of whom have worked for Democrat politicians in the past and Democrat causes in the past. What makes you journalists? What makes you a journalist? You take some kind of test? You have some kind of certificate? What makes you a journalist? I'm curious. You have tried to professionalize what you do. You claim to. So you are now professional journalist. What does that mean? You're a professional journalist. I'm quite serious with this question. How does Jake Tapper... What is he, self-characterized? Stephanopoulos, same thing? Chuck Todd, the same thing? I mean, Chuck Todd writes a piece. He wants his fellow journalists, quote-unquote, to rally against Fox News and talk radio and anyone who doesn't fall in line because, you see, we have created this negative uh, view of the media. Not him and his cohorts and comrades. No, we have. But aren't we part of a free press, too? Aren't I part of a free press? I don't pretend to be a journalist, but aren't I part of a free press? And don't I have free speech rights? That's the bottom line. According to Chuck Todd, not really. We're to be condemned by the other media elements. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin'. 